So since Zoroark is finally good <laughs> in a generation of Inu, I thought, what better way to showcase it than use its worst set? Swords Dance! <laughs> what else, poppin' people? We're back. And I've got a Swords Dance Zoroark team for you today. I think this mod is awful. At least the set's awful. And I don't know how this is gonna go, especially since my first opponent has a Passimian. I can get a knock versus it, but... I don't do damage to blood, so we'll see. <laughs> now we got Swords and Zoroark, standard defensive Sandaconda, a Spikes Vespaquin, because I did want to try some Vespaquin, Protect Will O Wisp, Hex, Rotom, Choice Scarf Toxicroak, but apparently Terra Poison. That seems like I just didn't give it a Terra type. Uh, let's, let's make that fight real quick. You know what? It's okay for this game. I just have to get rid of the Quillfish. Then I can Terra Poison and it'll be good. And then we got Standard Vaporeon. Let's get into it. I'm going to lead off with the Zoroark. And I will disguise it as Sandaconda, maybe? No, oh, that doesn't sound too good. Let's disguise Zoroark as... Maybe Vaporeon? Just make my opponents think they're safe? As they lead off with the Quillfish, and they are poison points, so we need to keep that in mind. Spamming Knock is always going to be a little bit riskier, because we could just end up getting poisoned. I'm going to go into my Rotom, as they set up a Spike, that's fine. We'll go for our Willow Wisp here. My opponent just does not- can they stay in? What the heck? Is this- oh, I get it now. You know why they're staying in? This is just lead Quillfish. And I think I'm about to get absolutely reamed by that. Because I don't have con any hazard control on this team. Oi, that's not good. <laughs> Especially with this Vespaquin. Not Vespaquin, this Frostmoth. That is really not good. I must say, this is not what you want to see. Hmm. Fortunately, I am just more attractive and talented my opponent and I do get that play right predicting the taunt honestly kind of thought they were gonna taunt the first turn um really fortunate they did not this is an impossible matchup by the way <laughs> we call this an impossible matchup because what do you think I'm gonna do what 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 is the play I'm gonna sword stance here no that's a terrible play uh light clay is banned so we know it's not gonna have light clay I think we just u-turn here we get a very nice critical hit I, oh god, a bomb of snow even just destroys my team. We can go for a protect here at least. Maybe the spike is good. Yeah, this is a really bad matchup for game one. I looked at his team and I did not even consider hyper offense as an option. <laughs> Yo, this is really bad for me. This is this is quite bad for me, I gotta say. Um, I could Terra here. I don't really think that's an ideal play. I think we go for a Will-O-Wisp there. I'm gonna go for another Protect here. Mmm, I... He should always be switching here into, like, Frostmoth. So my opponent just does not understand the advantage they had. Because that was a very, very, very free, um... Switch. I guess they predicted me to know Protect was obvious? Kind of insane, though, that they do that. We stall out both the Snow and the Veil, though, so they were not running the Icy Rock, either. Okay. wonder what that means their item was. Because they took Spikes damage, so they weren't boots. So, y you know how I am about this. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's check this real quick. Do I need to Terra to one-shot this? We're, we're sword stats, but we're not, you know, we're not that item. Belooza. Um, you, you, you said, sure. What if he is just offensive? Okay, well, let's Terra here. Ah! And we have lost the game because of that miss. Beautiful. So if I hit that, naturally, you know, we're winning the game there. I think we sack Vaporeon here. Yeah, I mean, that that's always just a free win if I land the Gunk Shot. Oh, and he's the special set, too. So we're going to sack Vapo here. 
I'll even I'll even I'll even go for haze just in case my opponent chokes. They did not choke. We got our Toxicroak, wink wink. <laughs> Alright, we do get him. Thank Thank goodness for that. The Simeon is unfortunately here now. I will go into my Conda, I guess. Ah, oh, and my opponent's bulk up the Simeon. This is not good. Oh my god, and of course I'm not air slashing with stupid Vespaquin. You know, if I just landed that one move, that's all I needed to do. I just had to land one move and I won this game. I think if I land Gunk versus this, it's very, very easy. Unfortunate game. I'm not saying GG. <laughs> Absolutely not. That should have been a free win. Damn it. Okay. But you know, those are the kinds of games that sometimes you get. Facing HO is always kind of hard. Because if your opponent's sweepers, just it, they just need one of them to match up well. And usually, that ends up being pretty hard to contest with. At least in my experience, I feel like limiting hyper offense can always be really hard, especially in these lower tiers, where you're just not gifted the best defensive Pokemon. Lower tiers always seem a little bit more offensive in nature. Because, you know, look at OU, man. They get Toxapex every generation. They get Corviknight every generation. What what am I stuck with? I'm stuck with using Vespaquin. <laughs> what do you want from me? And yeah, I'll pause this while we get the next one, guys. Be right back. Alright, and we are back. Now, in theory, Zoroark should be good this game. However, I've got bad news for the viewers at home. Zoroark will not be good this game. Uh, what do I want to lead with? They have removal, so getting up all my spikes isn't even that good. But I still want to go for him, because limiting Call Witzer in whatever way that I can, I do like. Getting some damage on Tomb as well might be needed. And I just look at this team and I'm like, what do you want Zoroark to do here? What is the end goal for this Pokemon to make progress? So let's... let's see. Also, Scarf Croak, never seen a more useless matchup for it. What do I do about this guy? I mean, they're gonna see Tox Croak every time, and they're gonna go hard Spiritomb. So I guess the goal is gonna need to be get the knock versus this, have my spikes up if I can manage it. And yeah, go from there. I'm gonna lead Vaporeon, I think. I've got a feeling Cloth is their lead. And will this guy Zorark is Croak? I will protect here. My opponent, I've got a feeling, is going to immediately go for Terra Dragon Drag Dragon Pulse, and I'm going to just lose a Pokemon turn one. So that's gonna be fun. But yeah, I. Uh, this next turn's annoying, because they should always just go Croak here. Like, raw, there's no need to waste your Terra early. Go, you can go Croak and you can immediately double, because my Vapo's always forced out. <laughs> it's not looking good again. I Oh my... These early turns are not going too well. Now, you might be inclined to simply say, Oh, but it's the team... No. Never the team's fault. It's always my fault. I can play better. I do think, though... A lot of time it is the team. <laughs> I don't know. I've got this tendency when I'm laddering especially. Because here's my thought process. You can never build a perfect team without needing to test it out. I don't care what people say that claim themselves to be the best builders. Be like, oh yes, I just build teams and I pass them and people... I don't care. Test your damn team. You know, you know what these people saying they're winning the games with? They're still finding the flaws with the team. Okay. I hate it. I hate it. Just please accept that Pokemon requires a little bit more thought than me build team, me lose one or two games with it, me throw away team. It's so depressing to see that play out. So my opponent actually goes for a U-turn. That's interesting. As I don't have any way to stop that, but what I can actually do is go hard Conda now, so my opponent's not able to go immediately to Croak and then force that double. Or double as I have to go Conda when Croak's already out. So instead we get this sequence here. Which could still play out the exact same way. I couldn't tell you that yet. But instead I do have a Vespaquin out. And I'm about 3 seconds away from turning this Vespaquin into an Air Slash set instead of a U-Turn set. Yeah, you think they Terra? You think, you think they do that? 
Because I'm honestly expecting to get Terra Blasted right here. Okay, they didn't. They got to the cloth. I want to get a spike here. That's such a bad play, but I don't care. You're not stone edging. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got a little, you got red a little bit there, friend. Do not reveal crab hammer. Don't do it. Thank you. So getting the paralyzed on this is, of course, just wonderful for me. Having this paralyzed will make it a lot easier to deal with. Cause now it just isn't outspeeding my whole team. I have to go Vapo, sadly. And we take 5 million because Clawitzer is a very cool Pokemon. I'm, I'm trying to remember if that is Scarf damage or Specs damage. I want to say it's Specs. But let's run this real quick just to confirm. Oh, that, that's not the number I needed. Thank you. Thank you. Calm Nature. Clawitzer. Okay, that is probably specs then. Nice. Croak comes in. I don't think my opponent knows how to double switch. They do not. They do get the poison jab poison immediately though, which is a little unfortunate because if they close combat me, I'm dead. But I also don't want to Terra here. Actually, no. If they CC, I, I believe I survived that. So get off our rest. Um, my opponent goes hard claw. Which I find a little interesting. If I was ready to sack this because of the worry this guy comes out. Could have been a little bit problematic for my opponent. I think also I just sacked Vespaquin here. Though, mm, probably not. I was going to sack it, but Lorantis I think it's important to limit. And I feel like my opponent's just going to Dragon Pulse again, so I'll sack Rotom. Oh, they Terra. Goodish for me, I think. So now I go Croak and I can Ice Punch this. <laughs> I don't even have to go for CC. I can at least get damage as the Spirit Tomb comes in. That's decent. Okay. I sacked Rotom because I it feels the most expendable. It's still... I would have liked it for Scyther. It is a good Scyther check, but... There's not a whole lot that I could really do versus this Clawitzer. The mod was kind of just always going to go for its Terra at some point. And start posing problems. I'm gonna go back to Vaporeon here. My opponent goes for Will-O-Wisp. I will go for Wish. My opponent will haze. Not haze. My opponent will call mine. I will haze. Yeah, you do not need those boosts. I promise. You do not. Now, the unfortunate thing here is, of course, I do get stalled out of haze before he's out of calm mind, but we can potentially play it in a better way. Now, unfortunately, my opponent wants to get special defense drops, so we're going to have to put an end to that. Hey, so my opponent, unfortunately, is running an item that gives them more special defense drops. Like, what the hell is this? <laughs> Excuse you? And now I'm forced to give up a turn because my opponent gets the double... Okay. That's fine. It's not actually that big a deal. The Dealing with the spawn is hard. Um, I always have the U here. I'd love to go for Toxic, but not really possible. So they go Cloth. Yes, yes. Can this one wake up? Oh, it can't? Yeah. Kind of expected it not to. <laughs> uh, it's so sad. I can keep going Croak. Since I'm Scarf, I always get the Ice Punch. Even if the Spear Tomb's just going to keep coming out. I mean... I don't know what its last move would be. Maybe Pain Split? I'm a little surprised you Shadow Ball and not Hex, but maybe Spirit Doom doesn't get Hex for some reason. Do we? We do get a Freeze there. That's pretty cool. I'll go Vespaquin. I will 100% exploit this turn. I want more spikes. And I potentially force this to Defog at some point, too, which could be good. But yeah, get all these spikes up, and now the Clawitzer will only have one more switch. So that's amazing for me. Just amazing. And it is still frozen. Uh. You know, <laughs> again, I go out to that one more time just to see. Ah, there we go. We wake up. I'm gonna get my Stealth Rock up, too. <laughs> Okay, this is- I feel like I'm bullying my opponent at this point. 
I admit, I feel like I'm bullying them now. This feels a little unfair. Yeah, so now my opponent is just gonna defog, but I can always get Vespaquin back in. It should be decent. Having fun on Pokemon Showdown. Me too, dude. I'm having a ton of fun. Amber, you're literally using Clawitzer. What do you mean fun? There's no fun to be had here. You don't deserve to have fun. That's not how this works. You you brought the you brought the stupid Clawitzer. So he does get the Willow Wisp off. If I go Zorwark, what is he gonna do? Y'all think? Y'all think he knows this is a Sandaconda? Probably. I'm gonna go for a knock anyway. I want to get rid of this thing's leftovers because this thing's just obnoxious to deal with. Oh, please go Lorantis. He did not. Dee hee. Zora work. Yo, does Terra knock off kill this? <laughs> Let's uh. Yeah, can I get just normal Zora work? Knock off. Yeah. I want to see if I could Terra Dark and KO this. Sure. Whatever. That looks like the right set. Oh, uh, looks like we got like a near max roll. Oh dear. Now he has no item, but I Terra. Oh wait, Iron Plate does not count as no item. 20 set. Wow, I literally never KO that. That's amazing. Naturally, we'll always switch there. I'll go for... Do I want a Toxic here? No, I think I just U-turn again. As he goes back to this, which we get to knock. I feel like all those turns versus Spirit Tube might have helped. This cannot check me anymore. <laughs> More than four moves is usually a sign of Illusion Zoroark or Zoroa. Pokemon Showdown really helping out there. Just in case you forgot. But who knows, maybe my Santa Conda just has a hacked knockoff on it. You, you don't know that. I think this might be Scarf, so I'm going to go into my Conda. Oh, he's Choice Band. Oh, well, that hurts. So, do I need to tear with my Santa Conda? I think I might need to. I could tear with this. Obviously, then I don't take any damage on this turn. And I could just get Stealth Rock up. I like that. Now I glare here. So we're gonna get the full para here. We're not the full para, but we're gonna paralyze that. We're gonna rest. And I'll go croak. As we get full paras on the Lorantis. This one game fun. Yes, it is fun. Don't play Pokemon if you aren't ready to have this happen. <laughs> GG. Yeah. I mean, here, again, this is Pokemon. You, you kind of have to play this game acknowledging that you might lose every one of your Pokemon to some terrible, terrible luck. So, an opponent's team here. Very, very annoying. They've got just some powerful attackers. They've got a Crocolar. <sighs> Crocolar is so annoying. <laughs> I'm trying to think about the best Pokemon comparison to Crocolar from a previous generation because I... There is something that Crocolore just reminds me of with how people throw it on teams for no reason at all. Like, there's negative thought process put into it. Also, yo, Vaporeon 6-0 is my man. I use Surf repeatedly, and where is his check? Please, help me find it. Because I sure can't. That's actually insane. Also, I really like Vespaquin lead. And we're going to... Hmm. I'm trying to think again, who do we want to disguise as Zoroark as? Maybe as the Croak, just always? Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna lead with, like, actually Vespaquin here, because I want Spikes. You're not gonna have Stone Edge. And even if you do, I bet you I live one. I bet you I'm gonna eat this Stone Edge up. Come on, go for it. Yeah, that's what I thought. And now we can go Sandaconda here. That one little Spike, of course, we already have established just how important it is to have versus this Crocolore. Now, I pressed Glare there a little too quickly, but I do want to make sure it's known that I am sacking because I am bad at the game. <laughs> what the hell? Why are you Energy Ball? <laughs> Why does it have Energy Ball? That doesn't hit anything! You're, you're, the porridge is a Thunderbolt, dude! 
that was that was bad. But I don't have really any switch-ins anyway. As y'all saw, if I had gone into my Vaporeon, I, I would have been taking a Billy from that energy ball. Maybe that's why he's got it. You know what? I respect it. Thankfully, my opponent does not realize speed tiers, so that's really good. Are you Scarf? He's not. Now, this turn is not good for me. Uh, who do I want to sack? <laughs> who do I want to sack? He actually, no, he's going for Psychic Fangs, right? Oh, no, he's going for Play Rough, and he's doing 5,000. Okay. Okay, that's not actually a good turn for me. I don't know why I thought he'd go for Psychic Fangs. He should understand Toxicroak does not learn knockoff in U turn. <laughs> It's definitely always going for player up. Oopsies. It's okay though. My Vaporeon will literally come in versus Crocolar whenever it needs to. Or Sandaconda. Versus Conda, I can just throw off a Surf. If well, no, I can't. I'm actually slower. Versus Crocolar, can throw off a Surf. Versus Conda, I mean, we just pray. Uh, what am I sacking here? Me. Hmm. This is annoying. So I. I think he is banded given the damage. Vespa Quinn, in you pivot. Player off. What if I have literally one speed? Oh, Snake it has a button for it now? Based. So to do 57 of that, uh, I should live. Yeah, so 61. And now Snake out means he will do a lot less. So. Bada, baba buoy, etc. Oh, and then he misses anyway, so that's pretty good. I guess I'll U turn here. Oh, as they go Fair Giraffe and they take an extra million? Nice. Nice! Now I'll go Zoroark. So, I think this is Kudchu. The problem, of course, is here. I don't. This doesn't have an item. <laughs> So we're gonna we're gonna check this Zoroark. Nope, nope. Y'all run a bad set. Nope, not this. Nasty plot. Who? No, we're Swords and Zoroark. Come on now. Um, in you stored power, sure. So this has no item. Let's let's fix that. Of course, I don't know what Kudchu means for this thing. Oh. Uh. Oh, it means they're going to set up and sweep me. Yo, they, I just want to let it be known. I could have been a Toxic Croak. <laughs> I could have been Toxic Croak. I'm going to get a Toxic here. I need Toxic. Also, I thought Kudchu just meant you ate the Citrus Berry twice in a row. Oh, it does. I'm silly. Oh, that crit, I bet you mattered. I bet that crit mattered. That's unfortunate. Um, but I think we can still win this. I'll go Rotom here and I'll protect. Losing Vespa window worries me for this Tauros. Um. Yeah, that was right. I was I was saying, I'm like, oh, I want to double to Zoroark so bad there, but there's absolutely no chance that works. Unfortunately, my Bostiff can still come back in, but... Wait. This is literally a Vapo turn. My opponent gave me my Vaporeon back. Actually, we just surf here always. Yeah. Wait, wait, we always just surf there. And he gives me a boss stiff, so that's... I mean, that's a threat gone. But yeah, we always have to surf there. Because we don't want to risk, like, that encore. And we also just surf because we don't want to let my boss stiff back in for free, I don't think. I guess... Yeah, that wouldn't matter. Mostly... The point about Encore is what's relevant. I want to switch here, but I also just want to hit this and weaken it for Croak to Revenge Kill. So I think I'm just going to hit this. Okay, he CCs. A little bit unfortunate for me, I must say. This is fine. I will go for Will-O-Wisp here. If he goes Crocolore, I'm not convinced that he'll live the follow attack. And yeah, I just, I just stay in. These usually can't touch Rotom. I wonder if since he switched out, if he's Scarf. Because if this is Scarf, that's actually kind of annoying. And I have to play this endgame really, really carefully. So yeah, that always getting KO'd by Hex. 
this comes back in. I'm gonna go for protect and just. I don't need to protect. I just go for Willowis. This is not two shotting me. This thing is not a problem. Hopefully. Ah. Nope. Oh, one. <laughs> oh no. Okay. He he's trying to get the uh, shed skin, but I promise it does not matter. That, that thing could get shed skin 20 times in a row. It wouldn't matter because I just always get to reapply the burn. Or even just spam Hex anyway. Like, I don't have to reapply the burn versus Sanaconda. I'd only ever consider going for Willow versus Tauros. Just in case. Because as we saw, Ironhead wasn't doing anything, but Stone Edge probably would do closer to 40. Okay, this dude's team is... Kind of confusing. I think it's gonna just be the Lycanroc, though, in the lead slot. And I'm gonna keep it a stack. I don't really have much of anything for that. I'm gonna leave Sanaconda, though. And just like all the other games, we will disguise our Zoroark as the same thing as we've been this entire time. Yep, as I always know, my opponent will go for Taunt, turn one. This is where I wish that this was a Passimian. Because if this was Passimian, then guess what I'd get to do? I'd get to go into the Funny Man. I would get... <laughs> I'd get to go into Funny Man, I'd get to leave Passivia, I'd get to just immediately U turn into something else. I don't know what he's gonna go for here. Uh, I mean, anything he goes for will KO me. I think I'm just gonna go Vapo. Oh, this dickhead's Trailblaze Metacham? Oh no. That's a little annoying. What the hell? Yo. Stop. What does this mean his other two moves are? What are your moves? What is the set, dude? It was the Haunter. I am... This dude is literally matchup fishing me. Oh, no. And he gets the immediate poison. That's not good. Also, we see no recoil. What happens if I do this? What what does this make you think? What what does this make my opponent think? Does he believe this is Zora work or does it make does this make you think it's toxic or Let me see scarf damage versus best speak. Yeah. I mean that 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 is a scarf one. I probably should have hard switched there by the way, but that's fine. Now we're gonna go Conda here. I'll just sack you. Not to this. We're just gonna hope that my opponent um, gets KO'd by Gunk Shot here. Also, just realize this is leftovers. Nice. Drac Cloak. I don't know what this is gonna do, but I feel like I'm about to get Will O Wisped. Right? Oh, I get outraged. Okay. Um. Interesting. Yeah, so I thought that I was allowed to go for protect and cause this to stop attacking me, but I guess not. <laughs> You'd think I know how outrage works at this point, but no. That was just banded. Alright, cool. Oh, so you like my Vaporeon that was not a status at all? Huh, I wonder what happened to it. I need to get a knockoff from this really badly. Actually, do I? Do I, though? Hmm. What I need to do is just preserve Zoroark in general. Like, we just U-turn there. I have to protect here. I'm a little surprised I went for Seismic Toss, but I think that they're mostly just hoping to, um... They were just hoping to break the illusion. And I do get the wish off. Excellent. I'm gonna go for a surf here just in case they go Haunter. Oh, they forfeit. Nice. So the, I guess they didn't think they could break. Which, I mean, it'd be hard. Every time a Haunter comes out, you are letting Zoroark follow up. Whether a threaten with Sucker Punch. Or just, you know, knock you if you go for Shadow Ball. And so that's a little awkward, because you don't really want to go into either of these and get knocked, because if Chansey gets knocked, then 
it just isn't a great defensive option anymore. And if Umbreon gets knocked, it's just a little bit less secure long term because you're not getting that lefties while you're trying to go for your wishes and your protects. Yeah, I think it's where we're gonna end it on. First game demolished, absolutely obliterated. Uh, we we had no shot. <laughs> well, this this next one not too bad. And uh, just let, final look at the team. I do think there's plenty to change about this. I wasn't really happy with the team when building it, mostly just because it just feels like something is off. Like, there's one thing that I need to figure out what to change, and I don't know what it is. It's not making this a Passimian, I can tell you that. Passimian actively makes this team worse. You know, you want to play with no team spikes absorber? Okay, have fun. You know, enjoy your week. But yeah, hope y'all enjoyed. Of course, if you did, leave a like, subscribe if you aren't already subscribed. Consider joining the channel as a member, even. Members do get exclusive content. Just gotta figure out the schedule for that. <laughs> There are videos that are uploaded. Just gotta gotta figure out how I want to do it more effectively than I'm currently doing it. But yeah, hope y'all are doing well. Stay healthy, stay safe, etc. I'll catch you next time. Peace.